And after they've done that, they can get onto the issue of workplace diversity because you wrote a fantastic piece about that on uh, in The Spectator this week. Uh, it's apparently crucial that every profession where white men dominate is diversified in every meaningful way. Uh, and I don't know how I missed this BBC splash. Uh, they've uh, revealed uh, train drivers are overwhelmingly in the UK white, male and middle-aged. Goodness me. Uh, and that just won't do, Douglas, will it? Uh, there needs to be change immediately. It's completely shocking, Rita. You and I know that women dream of the thrill of becoming train drivers. They, 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 they just thrill to the, the romance of the rail network. And, and so many, almost all women I know, desperately want to drive trains. And no, again, nobody will be free until 50% of people driving trains are women. And uh, the other oddity of this, of course, is not just, I mean, it's the banality of the observation of the BBCs. I mean, always, always this use of the term white as an insult. You know, of course, the majority of people who drive trains are likely, likely to be male. Uh, and uh, just, you know, there's a reason why it tends to be men, single men standing at the end of train platforms, noting the numbers of trains. You don't often notice single women doing that. Um, and then yeah. uh, and, and then the discussion about the fact that they're white, oh, middle aged, of course, that's a terrible thing to be. Uh, presumably, if they were all octogenarians, uh, that would be fine. But 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 the uh, but the white thing is where the uh, BBC and others really want to attack here um, again. Uh, Britain is an overwhelmingly white majority country. Uh, so it's sort of inevitable that in a job like driving a train, which is quite well paid, it's not a high status profession, but it's a necessary and important profession. It's sort of inevitable that uh, most people will be white. I, I find when I go to China that most of the people driving trains there are Chinese. And uh, when I've been to India, I noticed the predominance, the appalling predominance of Indian train drivers. It's quite outrageous. And once again, uh, the BBC should apply <laughs> this, this extraordinary fact finding that it does to these other places. Uh, uh, none of us will be free until everyone can be a member of the Garrick Club and uh, every single train in the UK is driven by a black teenage uh, 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 transsexual. <laughs> uh, clearly, that's the only way to solve oh. the problem, Reed. You and I know it. It's systemic bigotry, and it must stop. And we, we can start with the Garrick, but we've got to move on to the mosques and then the trains and everything else. This is a dream we all have, uh, and, and you, you have a rare insight, because as a little girl growing up, I uh, just dreamed of one day... Uh, being at the helm of a train in the UK somewhere. So let's just hope that happens for me.